set up a new sitting on the updated version of TestWise. We're going to click as usual on settings. We're going to see the list of the sittings that have already been put in. Um, and as usual, you can see the progress of them. So that is all unchanged. However, if we want to add a new sitting, we're going to find a much simplified process. So first of all, we need to give the sitting a name and that name needs to be unique uh, to the school. And we're going to select the product for which we are uh, requesting a sitting. So in this case, uh, Cat4 UK, and note that only the products for which there are active subscriptions, i.e. products where it's possible to have a sitting, will they appear in this list. So the list won't include anything that you can't click on. So when you click on Cat4 UK, and there are two options here. If I'm not sure what these different levels are, if I'm not completely clear what it is I want to set up, I can go into search groups and it's gonna give me a little bit more information. So I'm interested, I think, in level D. I'm going to have a look again to see what it is. So recommended age from 10 to 12. And if I look at the full description, okay, so year group, year seven. Yes, it's the year seven intake that I want. So I'm going to select level D, that looks good to me. Okay, so it's picked up that I've selected level D and it's added it in for me there. I could also have chosen to go into this list if I was clear what level D already was and I could have selected it there. So I'm then gonna select a from date and a to date, which is going to be my sitting period. Um, in this case, I'm selecting from uh, today. Yep, we some of them are gonna be sitting it today and it's gonna last for a few weeks actually. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put quite a long period in to give us as much time as possible. And then I'm going to manage my students. So of course, this is unchanged. Uh, so any students that we want to see the sittings must already be imported into the school. Uh, I'm going to select uh, all of them actually, uh, plus um, females. I actually only want, uh, I want a female only uh, list of students to take this sitting. And I, uh, I only want the free school meal children to take it as well. So quite a small sitting there, that's fine. So I'm gonna press save. Uh, and I've got the standard two options. I've got a manual start test or an automatic. If you need a little bit more information, uh, it comes up on the request on the I button. So tests available, but locked until the start test button is clicked. And that is for invigilated tests. Or if they're going to take it at their leisure over a period of time, I can see that students start their test as soon as the test period has begun is there. In this case, I'm gonna invigilate it. So I want a manual start test. And I can either save that as a draft or I can press save altogether. If I save it as a draft, it's gonna appear in my list as here, but it's still a draft sitting. So I haven't got any progress on it. It's only once I've finalized it. And at the point when I say, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit that again and I'm, I'm gonna save it properly this time. And that's a sitting added and it's ready to use.